Jey Uso is here, and he is a new man. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds. Main event, Jay Uso. Not content with being the right hand anymore, Jay Uso has set out on his own path. And it's a particularly treacherous path these days. There are a lot of men who have a grudge with his actions in the bloodline that are not easily forgotten. Jey Uso is intent on proving himself to his competitors in the entire WWE Universe. Is this man truly ready for Braun Breaker, a superstar who was bred for success? This dude is one of the most impressive young superstars we've seen. Braun Breaker on a meteoric rise in WWE. And his opponent from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. Absolute power, absolute aggression. This kid's the real deal. I agree, Cole. He's already more than living up to his family pedigree. Technique, drive, on paper, all the attributes of a top talent. Yeah, Braun Breaker just seems destined for very big things. One thing you have to admire about Jey Uso is his passion. When he sets his mind to something, he goes all out to achieve it, even if it means conflict with his closest allies, even his family. Jay is determined to be his own man, and I think that's a very admirable trait. He stood up for himself when others would have bent the knee and just played follow the leader. Even when the choice to do so has landed him in serious trouble, no question, Jay is committed to doing what he believes is best for himself. He better be ready for an all-out fight because we know Braun Breaker is. With Breaker's in-ring intensity, you always know you're in for a white-knuckle ride when you're facing him. So all I can say is good luck. He's lining him up. From the top, Dirty double axe handle. Great wherewithal on the counter. Snap suplex. And quick response to Jay's offense. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Driven down. This could do it. And he breaks the count quickly. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Measured up and this drop. Oh, what a kick. Just one step ahead. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Corey, at the risk of sounding indelicate, how do you deal with a genetic freak like Braun Breaker? He is indeed a genetic freak. But Braun Breaker is also very young. Braun's natural talent is insane. But his inexperience is a major weakness you can target. If you can somehow survive his offensive onslaught, he'll likely make a mistake you can capitalize on. Blow to the abdomen, gets them out of that. 
Sequence of reversals there. Here it comes. Stay away from the worm. The tequila. Oh, look at the creativity here. He breaks out. Just behold a sight we should expect for years to come. Braun Breaker taking over. And that is no exaggeration. The tension has really been bubbling open. Braun Breaker submission, all the old. Breaker looking to force a submission with the Steiner recliner. We can feel him desperately trying to find a way, and he does. Vicious right forearm. Oh, uh, here it is. Scorpion death drop. Jay Uso fears no man. He manages to escape it. Dominating shoulder tackle. Ah, oh, what a counter. Stump puller leg snap, very effective. Nice counter from Breaker. Planning on what to do next. All the way to the floor. Braun turning his attention to the crowd, putting on a little show for them. And this one might be headed ringside. Crash landing. He's got the answer for that one. Suplex, oh. here it comes. Nicely done. The end may be in sight for his opponent here. This is a very dangerous situation now. Jey Uso can come back from this. After all, he has been down since day one-ish. What does that even mean? And now Breaker is playing to the... Oh, he gets what he deserves for all that gloating. Apply! Well, that came to an end with a abrupt punch. Into the slam. Looking for the victory! Two! Finally ends it. And all the bloodshed. Perhaps worth it now. Here is your winner. Braun. A defeated Jey Uso here tonight. A very intimidating showing from Braun Breaker. Looking very dominant in this one. Here comes Gallus. A group of true Scottish hooligans. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Wolfgang, at a combined weight of 486 pounds, Mark Coffey and Joe Coffey Gallus.
The recklessly dangerous team of Gallus looking focused tonight. There's no telling what sort of damage they'll deal out in this match. Gentlemen, I have a four-word prediction for tonight. Gallus boys on top. entertaining and successful teams in WWE, The New Day. Enough with these guys already. It's The New Day! And their opponents at a combined weight of 417 pounds, Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, The New Day! What makes The New Day so impressive is the incredible bond these superstars share. Seems like nothing will ever come between them. They celebrate each other's successes and are by each other's sides in loss. Now you really can't help but be inspired by these guys. They've accomplished so many incredible things together. It's true. Historic championship reigns, memorable matches, the power of positivity has taken the new day far. <laughs> a feeling in you a feeling of power perhaps uh yeah michael the power of positivity is in full effect courtesy of the new day you know nothing keeps these guys down it's probably their best attribute as competitors very true new day does love to roll with the punches they'll have a lot to roll with tonight well if you want hard hitting no nonsense grappling look no further than gallus the gallus boys are rough and tumble and nothing else in between I definitely think their idea of fun involves no smiles and a lot of heavy, heavy hits. Look out. Out. Followed by an overhead kick. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. He gets tagged in. Shoulder tackle. Vicious right forearm. And wait a minute, what's the manager doing under the apron? Come on now, what is this manager bringing out? He should revoke his license for this. Springboard crossbody on the mark. Stump puller leg snap, very effective. Tag. <laughs> Dominating shoulder tackle. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Wrapping the arm over that top rope, punishing their opponent. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Uh-oh, carefully measured. Oh, man, leg drop arm breaker. So much damage inflicted. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. right in the button. Shoulders down. This could be it. Only a one count before the kick out. It'll take more than that to hold him down. And he's able to counter. Oh, an overhand punch. That was that chemistry you cannot teach. Yeah. 
Loading up, full speed ahead, hip attack. The arm absorbing the damage. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Experienced a bit of a pushback to his desired frenetic pace there. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. Tossed into the corner. Solely focused on punishing the leg. Tendons and ligaments in the leg can be easily damaged by that. Escapes in a nick of time. His tag team is just tremendous working together. Double teams. And it's about to get worse. Oh, draping double axe handle. Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. Superstar can do it to put him away. Strong kick. Beautiful. And Xavier Woods reverses. <laughs> Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Uh-oh. Hits him with the counter. Joe Coffey getting ready. And there was some force on that move. Ooh, saw it coming and hit him with a shot to the face. Ooh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Kick hits the mark. What reflexes to stop Joe Coffey? This match grinding him down a little. Yeah, as that explosiveness of Kofi was just shining through there. Oh, how about a punch? Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. And what a maneuver we just saw there. I oh, set out Matt Slam. Well-scattered reversal there. Russian leg sweep. Kobe turns it around. Down to Odin, and a double axe handle smash. Careful, he's going for the pin. This could be it! Oh. Kick out. He just won't give up. Stopping straight down on the arm. Vicious right forearm. Back body drop. Shoulders down. Maybe not. Xavier Woods. Oh man, face first. Wheelbarrow face bump. 
Buster. Two. And a victory. A win. Here are your winners. Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston. The New Day. Another win for the New Day. Cementing their legacy as one of the all-time great tag teams. The New Day will get another reminder that the power of positivity conquers all. Hey, who's up for some handshakes? There is a chill in the air. The arrival of the bewitching duo, Fire and Dawn. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. These two women are self-proclaimed practitioners and scholars of the dark arts. And they're not afraid to use their dark powers to get ahead in WWE. <laughs> Mischievous, devious, cunning, all part of Fire and Dawn's dark personas. The Scottish sorceress is ready for action. They are enchanting, they are sinister, and they are downright dangerous. a fever pitch upon their arrival and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. The diabolical entity of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn rose to infamy during their annihilation of NXT, which only intensified their desire to cause widespread agony and suffering. The devastation of their cryptic powers is realized when they combine their strength to isolate an opponent and destroy them with brutal double-team attacks. Going up against Fire and Dawn can lead to a treacherous outcome for opponents. Good to be in Orlando, an adopted home of sorts for WWE. Yeah, there's lots of fun parks here, too. Saxon goes to those discount theme parks just like he's a discount broadcaster. Hey, don't knock it till you try it, Corey. Not many people go to it, but that means there's no lines. Hey, want to go with me, Michael? No, Byron. No chance ever. Jarring impact. And she'll make the tag. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. <laughs> Matt Slam with some attitude. Oh, Spike face first. Oh, 
she turns it around. Uh-oh, submission move. Fujiwara Rolls through with clever escape and a knee. And she's stunned in the corner. Oh, man, what a strike. My goodness, is this even legal? I don't think so. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. She can pin her opponent right here. And there's the kick out. Not yet. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh, my goodness. And the manager is searching under the ring. He could only be looking for something nefarious down there. Tiffany finds the advantage. Uh-oh. Thunderous powerbomb. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. Comes in off the tag. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Way to steer clear. No, but perhaps not the only one with a killer instinct in this one. And Valhalla making it clear there that the hunt is officially on. Big, big back body drop. One elevation. And me. That was just wrong. You should be a better person than that. Got it scouted. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Looking at worse for wear in the corner now. Absolutely ready to take her on here. That's a tag. There's a tag. What are we going to see here? Double team effort. Flying shoulder block. When you see a unit as aligned as they are, it's really incredible. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. The discus clothesline. Decapitating. That assault halting all the inner tracks. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Oh, God, face first. Turning the tables. to the shoulder is definitely going to hamper your ability to fight. Hurricane Rana! Unbelievable athleticism. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous... Face first. Uh, set up on the coach. She is trying to break out of this. Ooh, an elbow does the job. God driven face first. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. From behind. Chop block. Monster set up in the corner. Uh oh, submission move. Fujiwara. Rolls through. Clever escape and a knee. Need. 
She gets the tag. Big time clothesline. Good grief. Ow! The fatigue is setting in for her. Unhinged offense from the blonde bombshell. That will keep Dawn at bay. Punishing the targeted area of the arm with the assist of the rope. Look at that. It's and the cover for the win. Kicks out before the two count. Still has a great amount of fight in them. Not going to let it end like this. Brutal face buster. Stratton side now. Tough spot for Isla. Yikes, that'll either wake you up or knock you out. A little rope assistance. Very effective. Looking wobbly in the corner. Uh-oh. Ooh, she just turned it around. Go behind. Snap jump suplex. Looking blow. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Oof. Look at this. Boom. Nice. That's gotta be it. Two count. She gets the shoulder up. She just will not go away. Dawn with a nice turnaround. Shoulder right to the midsection. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. She's looking for the win. I can't believe my eye. She just kicked out. Can somebody tell me what it's going to take to put her away? Yeah. Hooked up. She delivers her back into the ring. Ratton showing no fear, no intimidation. And she makes it to her partner. Tag into the cover. Oh. She wins. She wins. Here are your winners. The team up. Out of fire. A victory here for the vicious team of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. Put that match in a museum or a textbook so future teams can study to learn this craft.
Austin Theory is ready for action. And he can go all day. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. All the potential in the world, but unfortunately, a bad attitude too. It looks like Theory brought all of his friends in the ring with him tonight. Oh, watch your mouth, Cole. You are looking at the youngest United States champion and Mr. Money in the bank ever. How did that cash in go? Well, that... I can't... Well, I, I don't have that information readily available. Usually the guys at 2K are great about giving me the stats. I, I, I'll get back to you. Here he is. A champion twice over. Wow. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 205 pounds, the WWE United States Champion and the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Logan Paul. Holding two titles is the ultimate statement of power. Who could question him at this point? Let there be no doubt, this is what domination looks like. And he's at the top of this division. Quite simply, Austin Theory is on a roll of epic proportions. And this superstar has a major test to stop that momentum. WWE Universe, your eyes are not deceiving you. Logan Paul is here, set for competition. Cole, we're looking at a global social media megastar who's recently added sports entertainment to his long list of skills. Anyone who throws stones Logan's way is just jealous, envious as to how Paul has taken to the squared circle like a fish to water. Like him or not, he can end it here. And quick getting the arm up. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Textbook fireman's carry takeover. Oh, what an intense striking combination. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. What now? Kick right to the gut. Connects on the kick. Off. Just raking across the face. Just going all out with every blow. Logan Paul feeling on top of the world and letting him know it. Shot to the gut will break things up. Corey, we know that Logan Paul is quite accomplished when it comes to his athletic endeavors, but I imagine he's still facing an uphill battle when it comes to the majority of the locker room taking him seriously as a competitor. And Paul knows that, Cole, and he uses that constant underestimation to his advantage. He seems to feed off a of doubt and the hate that he receives, channeling all that negative energy against his opponents. The need to prove himself is what makes Paul so dangerous. Goodness gracious. Theory's hopes are waiting. Yeah, see, Logan Paul using the moment to prove just why he deserves to be taken seriously. Impressive counter. Opportunity now for Theory to capture some momentum. Now's a good chance for Theory to gain his wits about him. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Oh, 
He grew tired of his smug attitude. Can't quite get him there. Release German! Gouging at the face, this is gnarly. Come on, enough! Ripping and tearing at the face. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, watch this display of power. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. Big, big back body drop. What elevation. Oh, face stop. For all his abilities, Logan Paul looked overwhelmed by that move. Yeah, Theory is putting his natural talent to good use with that. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. And Paul caught by surprise. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Oh! You don't aim for the apron unless you're looking to do some serious damage. And gets tossed back into the mat. Vaulting plancha. Incredible. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Shot to the face gets them out of that spot. Theory sidesteps. And he slides him back to the mat. Close fist connects. Each shot landing with a little bit more value. Nothing pretty here, just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. Slugging away with everything they've got. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. When it comes to this rivalry, I think we all thought cooler heads would end up prevailing, but that is absolutely lift off. Oh my. And into the count. There's two. Just kicks out. He's determined to keep this matchup going. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, Theory's showing he's wise beyond his years with that offensive display. And he sends him into the corner. Followed by an incredible block. We got a cover. No, he gets the shoulder up. Good Lord, scarily close to three. And Theory. sure if he's foolish or courageous, but Logan Paul keeping himself alive against all odds. And Theory clearly thought he had it there. He might have to consider a new strategy at this point. Oh, shoulder first. I think the ring just shifted. Well, the advantage is turned towards Theory. Oh, Paul's just about to finish this. So this Underway, and I believe the loser's hurt like, really hurt. Suffered some sort of injury in this chaotic battle, and our winner offering a little support. Oh, oh my god. god, that was ridiculous! Yeah, so proud of yourself.
The LWO is in the house. It's cool until you say it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar. Well, it is time to pay respect to the boss of the street. Santos Escobar does not play games. Escobar is calm, steady, calculated, and does whatever he has to do to succeed. Oh, I certainly hope this gentleman brought his heavy artillery tonight. Otherwise, Big E is going to beat his ass. Or Derriere. Big E, you ready to throw down here tonight. And his opponent, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds, Big E! Well, it's no secret Big E nor any other member of New Day knows any shame, but Big E should feel a little more at home here in NXT, a former NXT champion in his own right. There's the bell, and Big E is ready for action tonight. That's because when you possess the power of positivity, you're always ready. And while Big E might be the epitome of lighthearted and good natured outside the ring, he is all business when the bell rings. He definitely looks ready to get down to business here. And in the opposite corner is second generation superstar Santos Escobar. Escobar wants to shoot that heavy firepower right out of the gate. Escobar is cold blooded, a mercenary. And what raises his danger level is his mastery of the Lucha Libre style whenever he chooses to unleash it. Hammer it away! You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Great counter! Just laying it in. Santos was ready there. DDT! Planet. Cover! Kicks out at just one. Strong kick out, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Big E, of course, loves to have fun, but he knows how to get serious once the bell rings, and once he does, there is perhaps no one more dangerous than Big E. He knows how to get serious, Cole, but that doesn't always necessarily mean he will tonight. Big E needs to focus, needs to keep his head on a swivel. He can swivel his hips after the match. Just like that, Big E finds a counter. Oh my goodness, a proverbial mud hole has been stopped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Big E letting his opponent know that he is all business now. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Face first with a waistlock takedown. He is looking to do some serious harm. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. What impact. Grabbing a hold of the arm. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways, making it harder to execute on even simple attacks. Oh! Oh! There's not much room out there. Are you kidding me? 
to hit a steel beam out on the apron, and they definitely just felt all of it. He had it scouted. Right to the kidneys from behind. Whip back into the ring. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Taking this to the floor. Suplex! Vicious right forearm. Uh-oh. He could pin his opponent right here. An easy kick out there. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Not so fast. Hurricane Rana. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Strong punch to the midsection. Neither superstar giving an inch here. Boom! Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. Looks like a hockey fight just broken out. Both absolutely drained, but both refusing to give up. Each exchange just sapping the energy from these two. Who will break first? That is the question. Biggie on the move. That has to take all the breath out of you. Two. It's all over. Biggie gets to win. Here is your winner, Big E. A big win for Big E here tonight. Yeah, and this is quickly going to turn into a victory parade. I'll give it to Big E. He deserved this one. Someone's about to be taught a grappling lesson. A painful one, no doubt. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. Drew Gulak ready to tie the competition up in knots. Drew Gulak is highly skilled. Probably simulated this match in WWE 2K a dozen times already. Well, it's just called analyzing the angles and having a plan in mind. The WWE Universe just exploded. That's because L.A. Knight is here. Yeah. His opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. Knight made headlines when he became a breakout superstar. Now he's on the type of ascent that can't be stopped.
Knight has got that unmistakable swagger, and he is creating a special moment in time within WWE, and I'm here for it. You have to appreciate the unapologetic charm and brazen self-confidence of L.A. Knight. This guy believes he's a certified megastar and acts accordingly. It's certainly something in the way Knight struts around. We'll love him or hate him. You can't deny he's got the build, the skills, and the look of a superstar. I'm sure Knight is planning to win this match in the same stylish yeah. manner that he does everything else. And across the ring is Drew Gulak. Gulak's a true professional inside the ring. He's highly skilled and has dedicated himself to studying numerous combat disciplines. He can hit you with a little of everything. I think it's actually easy to get caught off guard by just how much knowledge Drew Gulak has. He's mastered a laundry list of escapes, counters, submissions, and holds. Wrestling him is like wrestling a textbook. Oh, did you hear that thud? Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you. Never a good time for that to happen. Oh, neck breaker. He can do it here. He narrowly avoids the count. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. He's one step ahead there. Oh, what a close lock. Knight was ready for that. Boom, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Oof, pounding the bread basket. Now a series of vicious outs in the turnbuckle. Stumps. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand. Cuts. Pinning down their opponent's arm. Dropping the knee for more punishment. If Drew Gulak wants to pick up the win tonight, he needs to control the pace. A methodical approach will ensure his opponent's destruction. I think you're onto something there, Corey, and I'm sure Gulak would love the opportunity to slowly pull apart his opponent. Into a neck breaker! Cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Yeah. Able to parry that one. Oh, what a close line. Drops the knee. That shot on Gulak did not miss. Knight working it. L.A. Knight with BFT. That can finish Drew off. It was almost all over, almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. And it's going to take composure now. Could just need one more big move. Oh, reversal catches Gulak. Up across the shoulders. Here we go. Oh, my God, burning hammer. Reversal from Gulak. He's looking a little weary now. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Question for you guys.
This man is invincible. Dragunov's a man who struggles to keep his rage in check, but when Dragunov loses it, let's be honest, it's a lot of fun to watch. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Moscow, Russia. Weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. This dude is downright explosive, like a lit stick of dynamite with a very short fuse. There is pure intensity in the eyes of Dragunov. That's beyond intensity, Saxton. Those are the eyes of a man possessed. Well, I, for one, cannot wait to see Dragunov compete here tonight. The best in the world. Punk's first tour of duty in WWE was epic. The pipe bomb set off an entirely new era in WWE. But oh, how times have changed since then. Yeah, when you think about the past accomplishments, Corey, CM Punk has been a WWE champion. He won Money in the Bank, so many other titles. But this current version of CM Punk is driven to surpass those past achievements. WWE is a different world than when Punk left a decade ago. This company's evolved. Now he must evolve. Punk better evolve. Punk better raise his game. Because nowadays there are many who claim to be the best in the world. Ilya Dragunov. Now, this young man says that pain makes him feel alive. He comes to the ring prepared to receive just as much damage as he doles out to his competition. Yeah, quickly to cover. No, he kicks out. Oh, well, wait a minute. Turns the leverage for a pin of their own. He is still very much in this. I don't know if they're going to have any taste buds left after that. Uh-oh, hazardous part of town here on the apron. On oh, the apron! The hardest part of the ring. The apron can do some serious damage. It might be worse than being hit with a steel chair. And what do you have to do to account for the intangibles that Ilya Dragunov brings to the table? Yeah. Ilya Dragunov is a literal man without fear, which is not ideal. But he's rarely the bigger man in a match. You'll never get him to quit, but if you bring the fight, you should be able to beat him outright. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Boom! DDT! Thrown back in under the ropes. Forearm right to the jaw! And 
perhaps that size disadvantage coming into a play there as Dragunov is put on the defensive. Oh, what a suplex. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Huge kick connects. Something to keep an eye on. Counter by CM Punk. It has been so exciting to watch this rivalry on the There's nothing these superstars want more than to defeat each other. I don't think you can even call this a rivalry anymore. It's more like an all-out war. It certainly goes well beyond anything we've seen before. Steer clear of that. Getting set up for something in the corner. He's going for it all. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Up high! Cross body! Into the pin attempt. Getting the shoulder up before two. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. Uh-oh! Oh, no! Crashing hard! To the floor. A brutal impact after taking a gigantic gamble like that. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Face first with a waistlock takedown. Now he's been put on the defensive. Ilya wanted to make an impact on the opposition, and he just did. This match is spilled out to the ringside area, and as we can see, tension's really running high now. Oh, uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. Oh, that might have just broken something. Just a relentless assault from Dragunov. Punk needs to reformulate a strategy. Uses the edge of the knee. Beautiful senton. He must have seen that coming. Got him where he wants him. Up and Suplex. Six. Sent hard to the outside. His superstar picking up speed. No oh, yeah. a wrecking ball. Drop kick. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. And that holds Dragunov back. And he gets delivered back into the ring. He went right into that turnbuckle. Boom! What a right! Oh. Kick right in the midsection. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Hooked up. to keep going, needs to keep fighting. Oh, on 
Hooked a big punch. Punk wasting no motion on the counter. Fighting back, however, punches in the midsection. No backing down here. They really want to make sure the best man comes out on top in this one. And look at Dragunov's bloody face now. And a short clothesline. Elbow drop. Piercing. Oh, the elbow connects. Oh, man, drop kick. Now, oh, trampling the opposition. transition into the anaconda vice this one could be over can you imagine what it would do to his car and he may have felt his grip slipping so he releases the hole still was able to produce some considerable damage Boom. and dragonov's resolve might be wavering here dragonov having the fight brought to him might be enough to topple dragonov tonight out on the apron oh this oh. is gonna be bad this is gonna be really bad oh my goodness Punk never saw that coming. Huge boot. And now thrown back into the ring. Oh, this should be it. Uh oh. Dragonov is out of the way. Boom. And listen to this place. He's returning fire. Taste victory now. For the win. Two. Near fall. We can't forget how defiant Punk is. You might throw your best at him, but he'll still keep getting up. And Dragunov realizing he'll have to come back twice as strong for the next one. And we know the mad Russian will. From the top. Nobody home. Hooked up. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Almost ended it there. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Ah, look at this. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Punk has that luck. Gonna try to end it. Punk has him trapped up across the shoulders. Good night, G. comes to an end. Here is your winner, C.M. Punk! Elia Dragunov defeated here tonight. The fire that burns inside Dragunov was just extinguished. The question is, will he be able to reignite it moving forward? Here comes Michael Cole's favorite team in all of WWE, 
damage control. Oh, God. Don't let Bailey hear that, Corey. Bailey. Hey, over here. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring. Representing damage control from San Jose, California. The NXT Women's Champion, Bailey. For anybody doubting Bailey's qualifications as a role model, look at what she has done with damage control. EO Sky, Dakota Kai, multiple time women's tag team champions. Look, there's no doubt Bailey has been a help for Dakota and EO, but she's also used them as shields and basically as backup to do her dirty work. Oh, relax, Saxton. They're simply giving their role model the respect she deserves. Corey, how do you prepare for Becky Lynch in this match tonight? That may be the unanswerable question, Cole, because when you're dealing with Becky Lynch, she's more than a competitor. You are facing off with a driving force in the history of women's wrestling. The climb to greatness was filled with obstacles for Becky Lynch. She's earned everything she has and is always seeking new challenges to overcome. I have all the respect in the world for what Becky Lynch has accomplished. My question is, will we see someone knock her off the top of the mountain? Becky Lynch, a woman who's done it all, yet continually improves herself with every match. And that means that every time the man competes, we are seeing her at her best. These two women, Becky Lynch and Bayley, rose up through the ranks of NXT and WWE together. But they've evolved into two superstars who are as opposite as fire and ice. You know, I actually like that comparison, Saxton. Becky, the fiery competitor with a never-say-die fighting spirit. Bayley, the cool-headed superstar who goes after what she wants with ruthless precision. And fair to say, these two do not mix well. I think we're in for an explosive match. Combats out of that. Able to avoid any harm there. A toss across. Right into a drop. The elbow to the arm. Legs caught. Captured the leg. Big mistake. Double axe handle. <laughs> Becky holds her off. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Ah, oh, look at this. Hair pulled. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, somehow. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. Nice running crossbody. Talking game plan, Byron. What should Bailey's approach be against her familiar foe? Bailey needs to create and maintain separation from Becky and her submissions. Bailey needs to stick and move and be very selective about when she rolls the dice. The main. No, no, no. Oh, the and pay off. Oh, that was nasty to watch. Finding nobody home. Ah, she's trying. Trying to create space. Oh, well, Bailey has seen enough. And Bailey! You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. And finds a counter. Down DDT. 
She catches Bailey with a counter. Ooh, oh, knee lift. The cover, shoulders down. She breaks the count quick. She's still in this one. Boom, what a kick. There is a fine line between strain and pain when your shoulder is worked like that. Tossed away with the exploder. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Just twisting. Ooh. She avoids the attack completely. Boom. Incredible suplex. Uh-oh. High angle belly up. Suplex. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Made her pay for her mistake. Bailey able to counter. Bailey's got her hook with a Bailey plex. And up the turnbuckles we go. Blast off. Would you look at this? She is. Uh-oh. She heads out, but this one can be lost by countout. Nice suplex. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Oh, man. Face buster. With the counter. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Thank you, Itch. It's in! Disarmor! Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of... Arm is trapped, but she gets away. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. Oh! And Bailey is all business now. Refusing to let her get into her head. Bailey stood in the middle of the ring and found an answer for the man. Michael, this came down to heart. It came down to desire. And tonight, Bailey would not accept anything but victory. is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the Just ring, the team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. They love to have fun, but they are all business inside the ring. Hey, they dance as good as they wrestle. Go, Kaden. Go, Kaden. Byron, I'm a much better dancer. You know I've won many dance contests. Oh, 
yippee, it's Chelsea and Piper. Be careful, Brian. They have the general manager on speed dial. And their opponents, the team of Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. When Chelsea and Piper joined forces, it wasn't exactly a well thought out plan. Most people within WWE and on social media didn't think this would work out at all. I should be surprised by you two, Matthew and Brian. Whatever it is, you can't argue with results. This duo is big and bad. Piper Niven, Chelsea Green, ready to put the women's division on notice. An amazing blend of physical dominance and top-level trash talk. Piper and Chelsea can't be stopped. And we have action here with the self-proclaimed future WWE Hall of Famers, Chelsea Green and Piper Niven. And frankly, I'm just happy they're not at the commentary table with us tonight. Oh, bite your tongue, Matthew. The duo of Green and Niven has proven to be a wrecking shop here in the women's tag team division. Given the dynamic of the team, Green and Niven are difficult to prepare for, but one thing for sure is they'll have something up their sleeve. It would be wise for them not to underestimate Katana Chance and Caden Carter, though, Michael, because that's exactly when this dynamic duo thrives. And you just know, when Chance and Carter are thriving, we're all partying. Well, if you're partying, Saxton, then I'm not. Tagging her partner in. Ooh, goes tumbling to the outside. Getting tossed out of the ring like that can do some long-term damage. I hope they're okay. Face buster first. Oh. She's fighting back. She's pushed into the corner. Reversal from Katana. Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. Helpless right now. Into a backstabber. Can she score the pin? Head scissors applied, and here come the elbows. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Knee strike connects. And Chance now chaining some offense together. Chelsea needs to find a way to reverse her fortunes. Bang! There's the tag. A tag made, double team coming, basement drop kick, and the exclamation point, Tope Atomico. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Placed in the corner. Oh, man. Shot right to the midsection. Saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. This match is wearing her down. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this, to keep fresh. Uh-oh. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Man, snap suplex. for each other's offense here. German suplex! She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Ah, oh, jeez. 
Oh, hanging on for dear life. Whoa! The powerbomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Counter upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Wind him up, boom, knock him down. Ouch. And set right into the corner. In full control here, face first in the turnbuckle. Oh, just making their opponents suffer with their boot. Oh, absolutely punishing. What now? Oh, yikes, a stomp to the guts. Carter looked impressive after that. Chelsea's offensive wherewithal was on point. She goes to the outside now. I think she's starting to get worried. some hard feelings between them. Yes, yeah, Saxton, but I don't think this has quite reached that boiling point yet. Tag made, she's in. Unpacks a well-placed punch. Round and round into the... Satellite DDT. Ooh, strong knee connects. Carefully placed, stomp to the arm. Partner tags in. Oh, flying forearm, that'll turn your lights out. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Big time, this could do it! And she thwarts the pin attempt in one. Giving a massive effort to overcome the pin attempt. She sent flying into the corner. Hard rip into the corner. Into the corner, shotgun drop kick. She fights Piper back. Well, that'll do shoulders down. This could be the one that does it for her. Shoulder up even before a one count. I'm having a hard time believing that one. Reaching their opponent, look at these. And a series of vicious knee strikes to the body. Springboard misses the target. Able to get there in time. Oh, what a close line. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Oh, she just rocked Piper there, managing to shake the powerhouse. That spirit of chance is proving hard to contain. A running hurricane runner. Ooh. I don't really think this is the most opportune time to be looking for the fans' praise. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight for goodness sake. She flips it back on her. Powerless position to be in right now. Wow, tossed aside. Brunt of that. Placed into the corner. Knife edge chop. Uh oh. Face first. What a chop. That'll fillet your chest. Gotta hurt. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this. And here we go. Slam. No way Katana recovers from that. Oh, that was close. This match continues. Oh, driving the elbow. Reverse 
reversal from Katana. Oh, across the top rope. Ooh, the forearm connects. Oh, took the opening to kick them right in the face. She's tagged in. Denied with an elbow. Oh, incredible athleticism. Continuing to work on the arm with a... She scurries out of there. Places her right in the corner. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Uh-oh, face full of turnbuckle. Oh my God, face first right into the buckle. Gets tagged in. You can see Chance's eyes taking aim. 360 double knee, face breaker. Chance can seal it here. Maybe not. Katana has to fight back quickly here. Oh, look at the elbow. Look at this hammer away in the back. And a backstabber. Rep race count stop. She stays in this. Just barely, Cole. What a hurt, Karana. Here's a cover. Could be it. She picks up here tonight. Here are your winners. The team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. And these two really do make the perfect pair. I gotta admit, it just seems so natural for Kaden and Katana to win a match like this.